One of my everyday essentials is my security guard, Kevin. Come say hi to the people. Does he look happy? Hi, GQ, I'm Ed Sheeran, and these are my essentials. Kevin has spent pretty much every day of my life with me since 2015. He was there on the birth of both of my children. He was on my honeymoon. Yeah, we're, we're best friends and, you know, it's a deterrent. People see him and they go, okay, maybe I won't rob Ed. What's the craziest story that comes to mind out of the last eight years? None that I can say on here. It's the strong, silent type. I've never seen Kevin in an altercation, and I think that's what makes Kev a good security guard. He gets me out of the danger before it's even presented itself. He's not the only one as well, though. He's got, he's got a few, few mates. Eh? A few of us. Yeah. <laughs> so this is another essential. This is Tingly Ted's hot sauce. I did a TV commercial for Heinz Ketchup, because I like Heinz, and I got in contact with them and said, I've got a commercial idea for you if you want to do it together. And then they asked, should we do another commercial for Heinz ketchup? And I said, I'd actually want to create my own sauce. I had this idea for Tingly Ted a while ago. I find some hot sauce a bit too runny and watery, not fit for purpose. So I wanted to create something that was totally fit for the purpose that I, I use hot sauce on like everything. I'm a spice addict, but I wanted something with the taste that I like and the consistency and something you can cook with as well. So this, I mean, I go through bottles and bottles and bottles of this every single week. I'd have it on breakfast, lunch, burgers, nuggets. I'd cook fajitas with it, cook pasta, cook curries. There's two flavors out at the moment, but we're bringing out a, uh, I like to call it the hoop herter, and that will be coming out very soon. And anyone that really, really likes their ring stinged, then, you know. Next essential is uh, Apple TV. I travel a lot and I find myself sat in a hotel room on my own a lot. And this has all the streaming platforms on and I can basically, wherever I am in the world, if I've got like, you know, an hour to kill, I can go on, choose a TV show, choose a movie and, and watch that. I mean, this, this comes with me everywhere. I put it in my dressing room, I put it in my hotel room, I have it at home. It's, yeah, a very useful bit of kit. Being on Game of Thrones was, it was cool. It was cool. It was very cold and they gave me thermal everything. And I was like, ah, it's Northern Ireland. It's not gonna be that cold. And it was like, I really regretted the decision not wearing thermals. The reaction to me being on Game of Thrones was obviously not as glowing uh, and positive as how I felt about it. But what I would say to people is if someone asked you to be on your favorite show, you'd say yes to. So one of my essentials on the road is having a watch like this, which is a, uh, it's just a regular G-Shock. This is, I did a subtract edition. I love collecting watches, but I think having a watch that you can wear anywhere and everywhere, and you can swim with this, you can run with this, you could, you could go to a club with this, you can, but I, I wouldn't have to have a security guard, and I, I always have this in my bag to wear at all times. I love it. So this watch uh, was made for me for the mathematics tour, and it's a, a, a one of one all the mathematics colors and symbols on. It's basically a stage watch for me every weekend for the, uh, for the stadium shows, but I basically bring both of these on the road. This would be the everyday wear and this would be the stage watch. Another one of my essentials would be VO5 hair wax. This is texturizing gum. I've used this, not this particular one, although this is about 11 years old. This, it's, it's empty. Um, yeah, I've used this probably since I was about 13. Uh, I name dropped VO5 in my song, You Need Me, I Don't Need You, and they sent me a lifetime supply that say Ed Sheeran's texturizing gum. And when they said lifetime supply, I've still got a lot of the supply and you know, I'm barely halfway through it. So it is definitely a lifetime supply. Yeah, I've only ever used this on my hair and yeah, I've run out, which is why I'm wearing a hat today. But yeah, I don't know. Gel, not for me. Matte clay, not for me. Hairspray, not for me. It's all about the texturizing gum. But then I don't know if anyone's gonna watch this video and go, oh, I'd love to have hair that looks like Ed's. But if you do. <laughs> <laughs> So this is another one of my essentials. This is Paco Rabanne Million, just a, a spray. This is the same as the, the texturizing gum. I've used this since I was about 16. The only reason I got it was because it looked fancy. <laughs> and I was 16 and you know, I think the one I got was like this big as well. It was like, I got it with a voucher for Christmas. But I've used it ever since. And I guess like when you find your smell, it's your smell. I really think like I meet, I meet a lot of people throughout the day and you know, I think people look at me and they think he looks like he doesn't smell nice. And I try to. 
So this is, I think the thing that I use the most in the day, this is my iPad mini. Yeah, I moved off a phone in 2015 and I didn't have any form of communication for about a year. I was just like off everything. And then when I got back to work for Divide, I was like, I'm gonna move back onto email. Everyone re expects a reply to a text instantly. With email, for some reason, culturally, everyone's like, yeah, 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 you can reply to that tomorrow. And it's not like you're just spending your whole time on your phone. And I have three folders. I have personal, work, and urgent. For me to compartmentalize conversations rather than just having chaos, so it's helpful for brain space, especially with a young family. I actually write every single one of my songs on here as well, so on notes, all of my lyrics are written on here on uh, voice notes as well, all of my ideas for like guitar riffs and stuff like that. So this is uh, an important bit of kit and it's really smashed up, like really, really smashed up. I made a load of songs with Jay Balvin and he was so offended that my iPad was so smashed up and I was using it. Like it was literally like holes in it, but he like bought me a new one then and there. And yeah, that's this one and it's smashed up. So Jose, thank you, but it's, it's the same as the one you replaced. These uh, headphones, I have like seven pairs of these because I keep losing them and then and then finding them again. So these are, don't know, these aren't the pros. Yeah, I think headphones are essential for anything. I mean, for me checking the mixes of my music, I video call my kids and stuff like that. So to be able to be in private, basically in public, I think is quite important. The three artists I would listen to for the rest of my life. I think the Beatles. I'm gonna choose artists that have a wide, wide, wide catalog because there are some artists that are my favorite artists but have like two or three albums. And if it was for the rest of my life, I'd want to have a wide catalog. I would say the Beatles, I would say Eminem and Foy Vance. So another one of my essentials would be a corkscrew bottle opener for uh, wine. I stopped drinking spirits a couple of years ago and I've kind of uh, channeled all my energy into, into red wine. Yeah, I've been caught out a few times where you're in a situation where you have a, a bottle of wine and you want to drink it. And I've learned how to push a cork down now and basically open a bottle without a corkscrew. But sometimes, especially wearing a white t-shirt, it's dangerous, you push it in and goes all over you. So I would say a corkscrew is essential in my bag. I would say a bottle of wine as well, but I think that th it, that's not essential to bring with you at all times because you can pretty much anywhere in the world you can find a bottle of wine. This is the only thing that I carry on my person, apart from a watch, I have a wallet. I used to carry a wallet with cash in it and yeah, cash just seems to be a thing of the past now. So I just literally have a credit card. I feel like I could be caught out in any situation and be fine with, even if I didn't have a watch, just a credit card. I think you could get yourself out of a few binds. Just one credit card, yeah. And I've got a card that someone gave me for counseling, custody and meditation. It sometimes has cards in there, you know, that people give me and I forget to take out. But yeah, I should probably take that one out. I've watched so many of these and it's nice to be the one being watched today. I've, I've always wondered about what my essentials would be and I really wanted to pick things that were actually in my bag. And yeah, thank you so much for having me and hope you enjoy the next person, whoever it is.